A good example of how the library can support the adoption and use of OAR is a situation that I encountered at one of the colleges where I used to work. One semester, one of our English faculty came to the library and she explained that she was planning to teach a new course in short fiction, but she could not find a single textbook that had all the content that she wished to cover during the course. So one of our librarians worked with her to look at the learning objectives for the course, look at the course syllabus and the readings, and then we discovered that in our library databases, we already held all of the content that she wished to cover in the course. We had already provided students with free access to every single story that the instructor wished to cover. The librarian then worked with the instructor and built out a web page, a libguide, that provided links to all of the electronic resources for each of those stories at no cost to the students. So we went from a situation where the student might have had to pay upwards of $150 for three different textbooks, of which they would only use small portions of each book, and then would really be limited in their options of selling back or returning those books. Instead of having to pay that $150, they had access to the full content for the course at no cost, and it was all available from day one of the course.